Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to create a box animation inside Boris Red for Avid Media Composer. So what we're making is this three box animation of these three random action shots here. This is an awesome effect for, say maybe you're wanting to show a quick montage of steps in a process or something. I'm going to begin with this sequence that has these three clips that are stacked on top of one another on different video tracks. I'll then go over to the effects tab, click on Boris Red, then drag and drop the Boris Red filter over my top video track. Then go to the effect editor and open up Boris Red. The first thing you'll notice is that there are only two video layers as of right now. Since this animation consists of three different clips, I'll go ahead and duplicate video 2 to create our third video layer. I'll then assign my track media. Since Boris Red works backwards from what we're normally used to on Media Composer, our bottom layer will be V3, the next V2, and then the top layer will be V1. When turning off the track visibility, you can now see that each of these video layers are assigned to each one of our clips now. Next, I'll go to New Media, and then select Color to create a new solid color layer. We'll make sure that the X scaling is set to constant, and then change this to 33%. Now go ahead and duplicate this a couple times to create our three boxes. Then move the first one's X position over to the left third of the frame. Once you get that one to where you want it to be, keep the middle one where it is, but let's go ahead and move that last solid color layer to the right third of the frame. Now that that's done, we'll drop each one of these into the masks of our video layers. I want my V3 to be on the left, V2 in the middle, and then V1 on the right side. Now you can see that each of these have been masked to their appropriate third of the frame. The great thing about doing it this way is now I can easily move the framing of each of these clips without interrupting the box that was created for it. So I'm going to move the first box's exposition over to where we don't lose any of the action from the shot of this machine in use. Next, do the same thing for this middle box's shot. And last, let's change it so you can see the hand place these letters down on the last shot. Now that we have these boxes finished up, let's create the animation. I'm going to move the first keyframe of each of our video layers to where we want them to come in at. For this video, I'll have the first one start 5 frames into the animation, and then have the other two just come in 10 frames after the one before it. Next, add a keyframe where you want the animation to end for the first one. Going back to that first keyframe, change the Y position to decelerate, and then move it up to the top of the frame. Then go to that second keyframe, change the Y position to hold, and then move it back to its final position. Now let's add a motion blur to this. Let's put this on hold, then go to the second keyframe, change that to hold as well, then change it to zero so the motion blur stops after the animation is finished. Now looking at this first one, you can see that the first box comes flying down from the top of the frame. Let's knock out these other two now. They'll both be about the same as the first one, having the same animation of flying down from the top of the frame. Change the first Y position to the top, then the second keyframe to where you want it to land, and enable that motion blur. Alright, one more to go. One last time, let's add in that keyframe, change the Y positions, and enable the motion blur. Previewing this, we now have our animation and it's looking really good. One more thing to add though. I like having a bit of separation between each of these boxes, so let's add a spline object. I'll change the shape of this to create a thin line that'll go in between the first two clips. It may take a bit of tweaking. After you get that to where you want, duplicate the spline track and move it over to go in between those two other clips. Now let's apply these changes, render our project, and see how this looks. Looks great! 
And remember, with this method, you can easily go back in and do more tweaking. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, feel free to comment below. And if you're looking for more of our tutorials, go to our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or go to our website at redarrowindustries.com.